Hello everybody, in the category Better Late Than Never, today the Nexus 7 2012 tablet review. This was Google's attempt to penetrate the tablet market and it was priced very reasonable. It's a 7 inch tablet, which makes it very easy to carry around. This is to me the ideal tablet to read news on and to read PDF files on. Of course you can also watch videos and do some gaming from time to time, but I mostly use it for reading articles, watching videos. Sometimes I also reply emails, but I'm not a big fan of the touchscreen. I'm not a big fan of touchscreens in general, only when it's a really good touchscreen. In that case my preference goes to Apple, because Apple really knows how to make touchscreens. I have to say the materials that they use in this tablet are quite good. It holds easy in your hand. Most of the time you can use this tablet just using your one hand. When you need to do some typing, you put it in landscape mode. Then uh, you can use two hands, no problem. It's also a very light tablet. You can even put it in the pocket of your pants or you can put it in your jacket. This tablet is also quite handy when you're on the road. It has quite a good GPS chip inside. I have used this tablet for more than 3 years as my main navigation device. As you can see it picks up fingerprints quite easy. That's why I always carry it around in this nice case. This tablet was really created as a cooperation between Asus and, and Google. It was Google's attempt to penetrate the tablet market with a budget tablet with very good specifications. And I have to say they did a remarkable job. I own this tablet now for almost 3 years. I barely game on this tablet, most of the time I read articles on it and watch videos on it. Uh, when I watch videos I can uh, do that for a couple of hours when it's fully charged. I have to say when you install a lot of applications on it and there's a lot of background processes running then this tablet gets really slow. So two months ago I decided to, uh, to remove all the applications that I don't use frequently and kill all the background processes. This resulted in much faster response times for my tablet. I also saw the next generation of the Nexus tablet that was uh, introduced in 2013. That's uh, quite of a nice improvement over this tablet still. I have had system updates for almost 3 years long. At the moment I'm running Android 5.1. I bought this tablet somewhere around October of 2012. Sales of this tablet started uh, in September 2012. But um, I bought it actually in Germany because in Holland where I live uh, most of the tablets were not in stock anymore because so many people have bought them. Over 2012 uh, 4.6 million of these devices have been sold only in, in, in the last couple of months of 2012 alone. So that shows you the popularity of this device. With this Nexus 7, Google attempted to uh, compete with very popular media tablets such as the Kindle Fire from Amazon and the BlackBerry Playbook from BlackBerry. Also this was competing against the Apple iPad Mini. I think Google even sponsored um, buyers that wanted to buy this Nexus tablet because uh, the prices were around 200 to 250 euros here in Holland, which is very reasonable when you look at the spec level. This Nexus 7 tablet is equipped with a quad core processor which clocks in at 1.3 gigahertz. It has 1 GB of RAM. As far as storage goes, there were 8GB, 16GB and 32GB models for sale. It has a 4325mAh battery, which is comparable to the iPad. This Nexus has a micro USB slot and it also has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. It only lacks a HDMI port. Also there's no possibility to extend the storage with an SD card. This Nexus 7 is part of the Nexus line of devices from Google. The benefit of this is that this device 
receives updates for the upcoming years. This Nexus 7 has a 7 inch screen as we talked about. It has 1280 by 800 pixels and the screen is scratch protected. The Nexus 7 also has one camera and it's placed on the front and it has a resolution of 1.2 megapixels which is not really great. It's good enough to function as a front screen camera when you have for instance a Skype conversation. 